Cork 20 International Rally on the 2nd and 3rd of October. The number one seed, Jer Buckley, set off from Cork City Hall. He had won this event no less than five times before. But on the first stage, Austin McHale made a convincing bid for the early lead. John Coyne knew he had only to finish in the top eight to be certain of an outright championship win. Ken McKinstry was trying too hard too soon. He crashed out of the rally further down this stage. Local man Demi Fitzgerald had previously been second and third in this event. In 1982, however, he was hoping for his first win on the Cork 20. A chance to relax for the early spectators on the next stage. But the sunshine was short-lived. Similar news for rally leader Jer Buckley was spelled out by the rain. He was to retire with clutch failure. This was to hand the championship to a relieved John Coyne. With Buckley out, Coyne's position in the championship was beyond reach. Gerald, the flying baker, was a little unhappy about the ratio of the Vauxhall's differential. Despite this, he was now in second place behind new leader Austin McHale. Regular Welsh visitor John Price had boosted the five turbo up to fourth position. Fellow countryman Mal Stewart had been fourth, but had dropped a lot of time with mechanical difficulties. Alan Fraser fought with the steering wheel. Number 13, unlucky for some, but not for the Belfast crew, whose handsome blue Group 4 escort had climbed steadily to its current position of fifth. Manxman Ian Corkle with the raucous Porsche. This car had already been off the road on an earlier stage, reminding Ian of his main objective, to enjoy himself. Twenty-one-year-old Ian Tilk from Staffordshire on his first visit to Ireland in the Silkeline Escort. Ian was surprising everyone with a fabulous performance, which was giving the new leader, Demi Fitzgerald, something to worry about. Fitzgerald, however, was lucky to be still in the rally after two offs on two consecutive stages. John Coyne made a last-minute bid to win the Cork 20, but had to be content with a victory in the Tarmac Championship. The rear-wheel drive Renault piloted by John Price was now third. Rallying is about reliability, and smoke screens are an expensive way of confusing the opposition. But Ray Benskin failed to confuse Frank Fennell, who was one of the few drivers able to handle this tricky blind spot just outside Kinsale. At least, local man Hugh Tomney knew his way. The rally headed home along the coast, leaving behind an occasional bonnet. The ladies' prize for the 1982 Cork Rally went to the girls in the lime green Opal Cadet GTE. Liz Montgomery and Lee Humphreys cleaned up the pink elephant trophy and £100. Other results of the season's final round were third place to the persistent John Price, disproving the myth of temperamental turbos. Less than one minute behind after three days of rallying was Alan Fraser's escort in fourth. Alan was being pursued on the closing stages by the young Englishman Ian Tilk, who finished the event in a glorious second position. 
Overall honours, however, for the Cork 20 went to local hero Demi Fitzgerald. Seven minutes in front after a remarkable drive. Here's a few reminders from the 1982 Irish International Rally Calendar. Final championship table, a clear victory for John Coyne, third in Galway, fourth in the circuit and second in Dublin.